By the end of this video, you will be able to separate beams as well as join note beams within MuseScore 4. Let's get started. So let's say you're working in MuseScore and you would like to join beams together or separate beams. In order to do this, you're going to want to go over to the left-hand side of your screen. Make sure you have the Palettes tab open here on the left. And once you have Palettes open, you're going to look for Beam Properties. By default, it is most likely not in your Palettes, so you're going to go ahead and Add Palettes. So I click on Add Palettes, and I'm going to look for Beam Properties. Once I find Beam Properties, I click the plus icon, and it will tell me that the Beam Properties have been added to my Palettes. I'll click outside of this, and now I can see Beam Properties is listed at the top. So in Beam Properties, I'm going to go ahead and drop down the arrow there, and it will give me several options for the beams. So make sure that you're in Selection Mode and not Note Input Mode. So remember, Note Input Mode is this pencil icon. If it's blue, that's Note Input Mode. If it's not blue, then it's in Selector Mode. So now I'm going to go ahead and select, let's say, the first beat, the first note I would like to have separated from this beam right here. So this beam is right now connected. I'm going to go ahead and just click this one here, No Beam. So now I have no beam between the first and the second note. You can also make a larger selection. Let's say I'd like this entire measure select. I'm going to click in the middle. And now I'm going to go ahead and click no beam there as well. So now I have no beam on any of the notes, and they're not connected in the first measure for those eighth notes. This will work for eighth notes as well as sixteenth notes. If your goal is to transition from a MuseScore novice to a MuseScore virtuoso, you are in luck. My MuseScore 4 Masterclass is now available for pre-sale. This complete course is packed full of comprehensive tutorials that would teach you the skills to notate sheet music as well as create stunning audio seamlessly and effortlessly. Click the link in the description to reserve your spot today. Uh, if I would like to re-beam those, I can click on Auto, and that will have beams every, looks like every four eighth notes. You'll notice there's another option here is the break inner beams. So with eighth notes, uh, if I click this, you'll notice that it joined all of the eighth notes together. So that's kind of a nice feature too, if you'd like all of those joined. Uh, you can go ahead and click any of these options here to see which each one of them does and make sure that it works for you. I'm going to go ahead and click this back to auto. And again, as I mentioned, this works for 16th notes as well. So I can click on a 16th note, do the same thing, and click on the beam properties as well. There's another area where you can fine tune your beam properties. And you want to make sure you make a selection. So I'm going to go ahead and click the first note. And I'm going to click on properties. So this is going to give me the properties of that note. If I look about halfway down the screen, I'm going to find there's properties for the note. I can drop that down. So I've got the head of the note, the stem, but I also have the beam of the note. And you'll see it has similar options to what we had before. But there's another option here that I like, and it's called Forced Horizontal. So let's say I would like to click that. And you can see now I've got a nice horizontal beam instead of one that's a little angled. So it depends on what kind of style you're looking for, but that's a nice option as well. They have show more options. So you have your beam height. So you can go ahead and change this or fine tune it with each one of these options. And it looks like you can lock that or unlock it to be able to change it. If you click on this, it'll reset the beam height to default. So you have a lot of options here for your beams for how to separate and join them. So you now know how to separate or join beams within MuseScore 4. If you made it this far into the video, you might also be interested in how to change the playback tempo of the music you're creating in MuseScore 4. I created a video that covers this in detail. I'll put a link to it here.